It was great to meet some of those guys I hadn't met. Terrific to work with Sly again. Uh, a lot of uh, testosterone on the set and, and a lot of uh, hard you know, training in the gym because you want to live up to the other guys, get the guns going. Uh, I used to do a lot of martial arts, but this picture I did more weight training to get a little buffed. Well, I think everybody was in good shape. Stallone was in terrific shape, so I think everybody had to live up to him to start with. Well, I don't. I didn't ask Sly. It's not none of my business, really. But I, I think from what I read, that um, yeah, he was uh, considered for one of the roles and spoke to Stallone, but for some reason it didn't work out. We're kind of, you know, they they saw some pictures and they uh, they uh, gave my wife. Uh, she could pick and get a few things back, you know. So she picked the most expensive watches and such. And then they took off. Uh, but they said always, oh, you know, they, they're, they're from, probably from Eastern Europe or something, they spoke poor Spanish, I wasn't there, but my, my daughter said, well, you know, if you're his fans, then why do you do this? And my dad was here, would you be different, you'd be in trouble and all of this. He was pretty, he kind of mouthed off to these guys, like three of them. And uh, it, was, it was a bad experience. I sent a couple of friends of mine from Bulgaria to try to find these guys and, you know, sort of like uh, have a talk to them. But, uh, Nothing worked, and now we didn't find them. But now we have armed security all the time, so it's pretty good. Boxing is, no, I think that, unfortunately, UFC sometimes can be very messy when they're on the ground for too long, whereas boxing has a lot of style and, and uh, a lot of finesse to it, tech, more technical, uh, like karate. Because real karate, you can have a very skinny guy, he looks like nothing, be a real killer and he can knock out the big guy in like two seconds flat, which is cool about martial arts and also about boxing. So I think that, you know, there's a lot of merit to those sports as opposed to UFC. You know, I have some of that stuff, but unfortunately the boxing, the Ivan Drago, some of my, my stuff was stolen in, in another burglary, man, 20 years ago. So um, I don't have any of that, but it's all in here. So. Well, it's, a lot of it is uh, Rocky IV, of course, Ivan Drago, some is, uh, you know, Masters Universe, Universal Soldier. Um, but now I think there's a newfound interest in the 80s type of action movies, and with uh, a lot of uh, kids like in MMA now, they kind of know what one punch can do to somebody. If you get 200 punches and kicks in the head, like in some of these other movies, and that's why I think uh, Expendables would be a, a cool new kind of uh, trend, hopefully, and uh, bring us all the old guys back and get some more work. I hope so. I that I need it, but working too much anyway. Well, I I, uh, I used to be pretty good. Now I had I did a film last year where I had to play the drums, so I improved somewhat. I guess I'm okay for a couple of shots, a couple of songs, but uh, I have to stick to films. I think I don't make it as a rock and roll drummer. I don't think that's going to happen. I got one number now. A little less conversation. Elvis Presley. I did that for the uh, Swedish Eurovision Song Contest. I suppose I could uh, put that one up there and, uh, and make a few moves. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Don't procrastinate. Don't articulate. Grow steadily. Find a way to arrive.